everybody, it's Gloria from Harley Girl. Thank you all for joining me. Just a quick little review tonight. Reveal, actually. Can't review it, haven't worn it yet. Winter's stopping me from riding. Lucky to all of you who can ride through February. Um, I'm gonna talk to you today about this new helmet. The Harley Davidson 120th anniversary helmet matching the paint job of the new 120th anniversary CVOs. These are also limited edition helmets. I'm not sure how many they made, but I fell in love with it when I seen it. And there's only so many of them made, and guess what? They didn't have my size. This one's the Misters. So I don't even know if I can get one, but I'll bet you if I was in the States, bet there'd be my size there. You guys seem to get a lot more supply than we do here. Uh, but anyway, not so claustrophobic for me. Look, I love it. This visor is like any other visor, I'm sure, on a helmet, on a full face or a modular, something I'm not used to. But I like this little button here because it actually, you know, I love that. I think that's a great look right there. I'm wondering how the wind would work, but I guess it would go through that visor if you chose, you know, chose not to put that down. And then because it's modular, we all know this baby lifts up. I call this the sail. <laughs> Everybody tells me, no, you can ride like that. The wind does really go through there, so I'm not sure about that. Let me know, though, if you guys have ever rode with your chin thing up or whatever that is. But lots of padding, though. I love it. It's very well padded and uh, very comfortable. I have tried this on, even though it's not my size. It's very, very comfortable. It's a great helmet and the color is amazing but yeah i'm really interested in getting my hands on one of these um i'd have to get fitted but i'll travel down for it two vents one up here and one right here don't you think that's a sharp looking helmet right harley girl deserves one right anyway let me know your thoughts can you actually suggest like make a suggestion to me on a, a helmet that you know I could wear because I am claustrophobic so my three-in-one that I wear the Harley Pilot I like that there's a chin piece on it it comes off or sorry it's a face mask they call it so the face mask comes on or off and you know in a second I can do it while I'm riding and uh, you know if that feeling ever comes where I I need some air uh, this here I'm sure I could do the same thing with I could pop up this you know part of the visor or I could pop up this um, but yeah, if you have any suggestions on a modular helmet that uh, might work for me, like I know there's a few brands out there, but I don't want to, you know, go into a thousand dollar range right away. I'd kind of like baby step my way in anywhere from 300 to, you know, like 300 to 700. I also looked at the Simpson. Someone told me they're a really, really good helmet. And I love the design of that too. Much like this, very, uh, very smooth and round at the back because I don't like that big geeky wind kind of thing at the back it's just how i feel about them but a nice round one i did really like the styling of the simpson i should check out uh chopper fit because he sure has his share of helmets uh but yeah i have been reviewing them a lot and uh thank you all for watching and if you can uh just leave a comment and give me a suggestion on a helmet that's reasonable and and also it's you know it's got to be safe i want to go into a full face um, you know, I had a little bit of a mishap last year and I was on the, I landed on the side of my face. So wearing a half helmet, I was protected. And had I landed in the front, well, full face would have been what to save my face. Um, but anyway, thank you all for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you and see you on the road soon.